What's up guys? We are back with another video. If you are new here, my name is Sammy and we're the Mermaid Gang. This is where you can come and suspend your disbelief. I am your favorite manifestation coach and your favorite YouTuber. So if you would like for me to help you dissolve whatever is between you and your manifestation, go ahead and sign up for coaching with me below. My website is right here, sammysmermaidgang.net. So uh, yeah, if you hear snoring, I feel like I have to say this in every video because y'all will literally comment, even though I've said it in every video, if you hear snoring, it is my dog. Insert clip here. I don't know if I'm gonna insert it in every single video, but for two videos now, I'm gonna put it right here. Here she is, this is what she looks like. This is the snorer, okay? Get over it. All right, let's get into the video because the last video was a long one and I got a feeling this one's gonna be a long one too because it is a and a so let's just go ahead and get started. <laughs> Dear Sammy, can you warn us about fake coaches? Like I said in my last video, the best way to know if you're dealing with someone with common fucking sense or if you're dealing with someone who is just here for the views, if they make you feel like you're not in control, skip the video, block them, cut it off, okay? If, if you're watching a coach and they tell you anything that makes you feel limited, not in control, uncomfortable, sad, bothered, anything saying that this won't work or you have to do this this way or it won't work, no one can set rules for you, okay? No one. No one can set rules for you. It's your life. You're the master of manifesting in your life, okay? No one can set rules for you. No one can tell you what's the best way for you to manifest. Only you can decide that. No one can tell you what you can or cannot have or what you are worthy of or if you, what hoops you have to jump through. You have to jump through no hoops. This is your reality. You get to decide whatever you want. You get whatever you want, okay? Manifest whatever way you want to manifest. Don't let anyone put limits on you. That's how you can tell. Is it possible to be gay and manifest a relationship with an SP who is straight? Who decides if he's straight? Um, people are whoever you think they are. Remember, everyone is you pushed out. I explained this also in the last video. It's not that they're reflecting your you and your personality and your beliefs and whatever. You, they're reflecting your beliefs about them specifically. In my opinion, it is no different than if you were dealing with someone who was an asshole or a cheater or a fuck boy or whatever. They are whoever you think they are. So if you wanna be with this person, then affirm they wanna be with you, regardless of gender or sexual preference. In my opinion, it's no different. Is manifestation bad? Christians say it's a sin is manifestation witchcraft. Manifestation is not witchcraft. Actually, witchcraft is manifestation. But, there's no, it, the logic is flawed for, for Christians in the religious form. Meaning like, in my opinion, there's a difference between Christian, like believing in Christ, oh, and religion. Okay, you're religious. If you're religious and you're saying that manifestation is a sin but you believe in the Bible, then you don't believe in the Bible and you only pick and choose what you believe out of the Bible because the Bible literally says, believe you have received and you will. Oh, and it says things, it says things like that multiple times through the Bible. It's, it talks about faith and believing and receiving and that's manifestation. That's literally what manifestation is. So. If you're religious and you're just into the control factor, just say that. But it makes no sense for anyone to say that manifestation is a sin when it's literally in the Bible. Believe you have received is exactly all manifestation is. You're affirming, believing you have received something already. You're experiencing it in your mind so you can experience it in your reality. It's no different. So that's stupid. 
manifestation is not bad or a sin it is literally you can't change it you're manifesting whether you like it or not so that's how you were created so what does obsessive manifestation mean how should we deal with it if you're referring to obsessing over your desire like i said in the last video I obsess over every single desire that I have. If I want it, if I have decided that I want it, I obsess over it in a way that I will affirm, 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 affirm every second that I'm thinking about it until I get it. And it usually happens really fast because I obsess over it and I get it because I obsess over thinking as if I already have it. And so I get it because I get what I want. I tried manifesting someone by this new year but i ended up manifesting him in my dreams that means this is y'all cut yourselves short every time you you were affirming or manifesting however you manifest and the person was in your dreams that means that it's working that means that your mind is accepting whatever reality you are living in your mind whatever you're affirming or visualizing or whatever you're doing in here your subconscious is accepting it which is why it was in your dream so if you just keep affirming it would manifest states if we don't get into it we won't get or keep our sp Aff affirming alone won't work this irritates me not the person that posted this but the, the, whoever's telling you guys this they don't know what they're fucking talking about how do you get into a state you think from it what is thinking affirming what is affirming thinking you think from the experience you you live the experience in your mind in my way it's by choice of words by thinking like i already have it thinking like i'm telling someone about this thing that i already have or this thing that's already true in my life affirming fucking affirming you affirm from the state that you want to be in so if you are not with your SP, but you're affirming that you are with your SP, then you are thinking from the state where you are with your SP. Therefore, affirming does work and puts you into the state and you will keep your manifestation. Every single thing I have ever affirmed for, I have gotten and kept because affirming is thinking from the state of the wish fulfilled. I don't know if states are currently trending, but I don't want new shit that's already been taught trending to this new generation of coaches and tiktok coaches and all this shit because y'all are gonna fuck it up because you're not teaching it right because you don't know what you're talking about you're remaking it you can't remake it it's it, it is what it is thinking from the state of the wish fulfilled is being in the state why do some manifestations take longer to finally get results wavering period if you're not experiencing what you want, it's because you're wavering. It's because you're reacting. It's because you're going back and forth. It's if your reality is not consistent, your mind is not consistent on experiencing the thing you want to experience in your 3D. Sammy, is really visualization the strongest and fastest technique for appearance change? Not in my experience. I have never manifested anything from visualization at all what's strongest and fastest is whatever method works for you so for me it's affirming so if i'm visualizing myself to look a certain way most likely it's not going to work because to me visualization just doesn't work for me affirming works for me so i would repeat how i look over and over and over again and that's what would be fastest and easiest for me it just depends on how you manifest. If visualization is not the way you manifest, then nope. Should our affirmations be in present, past, or future tense? It doesn't matter. It truly doesn't matter. However, you are most comfortable affirming. How to manifest a celebrity? It's no different than manifesting anyone else. Truly, it's not. They're just humans with fans or a lot of followers. They're no different. So if you will just affirm that you are together or they're in love with you or they they like you or they want to be with you or whatever, a situation will come about where that happens. Whether they stumble across your social media, whether you end up going to a, a show or see them somewhere or 
whatever. There's a million ways it can happen. They're no different than normal humans. They're just humans. It's no different. Does it seem desperate if I'm affirming all day, even when I'm busy doing other things? No, I do that. When I want something, when I'm manifesting something, that is what I do. And it works every time. If your SP broke up with you, is it enough to only affirm we've always been together? Yes, that's called revision and it would revise the situation and you would be back together. How do you get an SP to treat you like you are the one? You affirm it, you say they treat me like I'm the one. I am the one for them. My boyfriend cheated on me. I want a new start with him, but I'm having a hard time forgiving him. Suggest something. Revise it. He never cheated on you. What are you talking about? He would never do that. When people give up on something and they end up getting it, why? Because they dropped all the resistance that they had to it. Most likely when they give up, they've just stopped thinking about it, period. They've just completely dropped it and moved on and stopped thinking about it in any way. So they're not thinking against it. And when you're finally not thinking against it, sometimes that's how it has to happen. Because when you are affirming for it or you are actively manifesting it, there are some people that literally just cannot stop thinking against it. And then they get mad and then they give up. And finally, because they've dropped all the resistance and stopped thinking against it, it could easily manifest. I've already talked about the void state. It is Neville Goddard's I am meditation. I have a whole video on it. <laughs> when in no contact, do I ruin my manifestation by reaching out? No, nothing can ruin your manifestation except for you deciding that something can ruin your manifestation. If you can decide that nothing can ruin your manifestation, but literally the only thing that can stop you from getting what you want is you thinking against it. You thinking that you don't have what you want or that you won't get it. That's the only thing that can ruin your manifestation. That's it. What does a good mental diet really mean? It means that you're not thinking against what you're manifesting. What kind of mindset should we have when we're robotically affirming? There is no specific mindset to have. Don't think against what you want. Just affirm, just keep affirming like you already have it. How to start with manifestation when you are negative. Stop identifying with being negative and start telling yourself that you're optimistic, you're positive, you're a happy, positive person. Stop identifying with these personality traits that you don't want anymore. Do you affirm with feeling or just robotically? Mostly just robotically. Masculine and feminine energies for manifesting. These are, this is one of those things that it's like, like I hear you, it sounds great, but I'm not one for, I don't like things to be complicated. So I just don't partake in that kind of thing. I just go with the flow, I do whatever I want. I don't worry about if my energy is masculine or feminine or whatever I, I don't care about any of that it doesn't affect me because I don't care about it if you believe that being masculine or feminine determines these things like what they're talking about on TikTok and stuff then that you're going to experience that but I don't believe in anything being able to affect my power how to manifest clarity in situations when you don't know what result you want you can literally affirm, I have clarity on this. I know exactly what I want. I know exactly what to do, what to do. How to keep going when all odds are against you and you urgently need your shit. Why would you assume that all odds are against you? Everything is so easy for me. Everything works in my favor. It's a simple mindset change. If my SP doesn't conform after six months, should I get a new one? Why? Why are you even setting it that long? Why would you assume you need a new one? You're, what you're doing is preparing for failure. When you prepare for failure, you fail. Stop preparing for failure. Instead, decide or affirm, I always get what I want. I'm a master at manifesting. This is so easy for me. Everything is so easy for me. I never fail at manifesting. Stop preparing for failure. A lot of you guys do this. A lot of you prepare for 
failure, plan B, your backup plan for if it doesn't, why are you giving it the option? In your reality, why are you giving it the option to not work? What if two people are affirming for the same thing that only one person can have? Why are you in your reality, in your life, allowing someone else to compete with you for something you want? You, being the operant power in your life, in your reality, decide if anyone can compete with you or not. You could literally say, actually, they don't want it. They don't want it. They don't want it. And guess what? That person has to conform to whatever your idea of them is and they will no longer want it. What is wavering? Thinking against what you want. If you're manifesting an SP, but you're constantly saying they don't want you, they don't want to be with you, they're a terrible person, rather than saying they love me, they're obsessed with me, they'll do anything to be with me, that's what wavering is. Thinking anything that you wouldn't want to be true. What are your thoughts on overnight subliminals? They're fine if you enjoy them. They're not my cup of tea. I'm not a subliminal person. I, you still need to change your thoughts. Depression and manifesting. This is another thing that I would highly recommend you work on not identifying with anymore. I know it's become a big thing in social media and it's really hard to get away from it, but you, you can. And if you could stop identifying with it by saying the opposite, it would really, really help. Because your mind controls everything. And you can control your mind. It might take a little extra work, but if you're willing to try it, just see what happens. But I will say that your feelings do not affect your manifestation. It only matters what you're thinking. Is it okay to have two SPs? You can have as many SPs as you want. <laughs> How to resolve obsessive negative thinking by telling yourself over and over and over, obsessively telling yourself that you only think good thoughts. Mm -hmm. That you're super optimistic, that you're a super positive person. Remember, stop identifying with these personality traits. Isn't living in the end feeling your affirmations? What's the difference between the two? No. Living in the end is thinking as if you already have what you want. It has nothing to do with feeling. It has everything to do with you experiencing what you would experience, what you want to experience in the 3D in your mind first. So affirming, thinking from having what you want. It has nothing to do with feeling at all. Is routine important for manifestation? Not in my opinion, but if you're someone who needs structure, then yes. Implement a routine, set times aside where you know you have to affirm, especially if, someone, if you're someone who needs to discipline yourself to affirm or to do what you need to do, then yeah, do a routine. Can you do one for pregnancy? Yes, just think as if over and over again that you're pregnant, I don't know if you want to be pregnant now, if you're trying to manifest one in the future or what you're trying to do, but you would affirm that you are and that you're having the healthiest pregnancy and the healthiest delivery and go ahead and start affirming those things that it's going to be just the perfect, easiest, most perfect, easiest pregnancy and delivery ever. Are two affirmations on loop for SP enough? Yeah, that's more than enough. Just keep, keep going. How to manifest happiness and wealth for someone else? easy just in your mind describe them as happy and wealthy over and over and over again it's the same manifesting for someone else as it is for yourself you would just repeat the new version of them they're so happy and wealthy 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 they're so happy and rich they're so rich they're so happy they're so rich they're so happy they're so rich they're so happy over and over and over and over have tips for keeping your mind focused when affirming. I get upset when I realize my mind drifted. Just bring it back. There's no reason to get upset. Just keep bringing it back, bringing it back, bringing it back. And the more you do it, the more you bring your attention back, your mind will start automatically going in the direction that you keep dragging it back to, okay? It's going to learn it and it's not gonna be an issue anymore. Stop getting upset about this. It's okay. Just keep bringing it back. 
chill. Stop beating yourselves up about everything. It's okay. It's a learning process. Give yourself some grace. It's okay. Tell yourself you're so good at it. You fully understand it. You know exactly what to affirm. You know exactly what to do. Remember, every single thing is a manifestation. Tell yourself, I know all the answers. I know exactly what I'm doing. I don't have any questions because I know everything. You can affirm that and it will be true. You will all of a sudden know. You will all of a sudden have this confidence in your manifesting abilities. You don't have to be a victim. You don't have to be a forever student. You can manifest the knowledge for manifestation. Okay? That is all the questions I have time to get through. I'm about to film for my second channel now. It is 2.51 in the morning. And um, yeah, so I hope this answered some of your important questions. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And we have